Hello, I'm Mimi and I want to find out if posting daily to my Instagram art account will increase my reach and almost more importantly, will it be worth all of the extra illustrating I have to do? This video is sponsored by Just Sketch Me, but more on that later. So the plan is to post something to my Instagram art account every day for 30 days and track the data across reach and followers to see what impact posting daily has and how many hours it takes for me to achieve that result. I then have a little holiday planned at the end of those 30 days, so then I won't post anything for a few weeks and we'll have even more information about how long any momentum in the algorithm actually lasts for. Since this is my own challenge and my own experiment, I can make my own rules, and my rules are going to be very simple. I share one post on my Instagram art account each day for the next 30 days. Not every post needs to be an illustration, although I'd like most of them to be. Reposting old art is allowed, and the art doesn't have to be great or groundbreaking. And here's what I want to get out of this challenge, aside from trying to increase my reach. I want to enjoy just drawing anything, big or small, just for the sake of drawing for fun. And I want to host at least one art challenge for the Instagram community during the 30 days. Now I'm not going to plan out exactly what I'm going to draw for each of those 30 days in advance, but I do have a few ideas and a bit of a framework of what I want the challenge to look like. I've just recently created a two-week creativity workbook with drawing prompts and ideas, so I want to follow the workbook for the first two weeks, which gives me something to draw Monday to Friday for week one and week two. That'll be a nice warm-up. I think I should have at least one day off from drawing each weekend, so one post per week can be something else like reposting some old art. Like I said, I want to host an art challenge, so maybe I can do that around the middle of these 30 days. And the last two weeks is kind of whatever I feel like drawing at the time. I think I'll try and be a bit more intentional toward the end though, by drawing things that I think will stand out on the explore page, just in case Instagram does start showing my art to new followers more. So that's the plan. Before we start, let's take a look at where my account is at the moment. I've only been posting about once a week for a little while now, which is a lot less than I did when my account was growing rapidly. I reached about 51,000 accounts in the last 30 days. Most of them are already following me and just over a third of them weren't. Most of my reach comes from posts, especially to those non-follower accounts, and I don't really expect that to change over this challenge since I'll be posting even more. If I look at my posts from the last 30 days, you can see that I only have four where I'm posting weekly, and these numbers are showing us the reach of those individual posts. I have 133,630 followers. On average at the moment, I'm getting about 55 followers a day throughout the month, and it's fairly steady. Now keep in mind not to compare any of my analytics to yours throughout this video. We all have different stories and are at different places in our journeys, so there are lots of reasons why my analytics might not look like yours, and none of them take into account how lovely your art is. So it's day one, which is May 13th, and time for me to start posting. I actually already have an illustration that I made but I haven't posted yet, so I kind of feel like I'm starting with a freebie, which is great. So that's day one done, only 29 more to go. Because I've just created my creativity workbook and I want to tell people about it, I'm going to post a little promo for it instead of drawing for my day two. Posts like this never get as much reach as illustrations do, but that's fine because not everything I post is to grow my audience. Some of the things that I post are for people already in my community. Now I'm going to get into illustrating the activities in my creativity workbook and post the first five, one each day of this week. I partly want to do this to show examples from the workbook and partly because I just enjoy the workbook myself and I think it's really important to use and like your own products.
I'll need to keep in mind with this challenge that these posts can be really simple, they can be quick to make, and they certainly don't have to be anything complicated if I don't want them to be. I'm putting aside about an hour to an hour and a half each day to draw something, but it can be longer on days when I have more time. So it's quite a big commitment and I'm gonna have to keep reminding myself to keep it simple. I'll just kind of see on the day how much time and energy I have for illustrating. And if I feel like drawing something a bit more complex, then I can, but just getting into the habit of posting something is my main priority for these first couple of weeks. It's day eight and it's actually my three year anniversary of starting to take myself seriously as an illustrator. So I'm drawing something cute and celebratory. I'm also using this particular illustration for my Patreon illustration club, so I'll be able to get two uses out of it. When I first started this account three years ago, I decided I was going to draw something every weekday and post it to Instagram. And I ended up doing that for a full year before I slowed down how much I was posting, so this challenge definitely takes me back to when I started. I like that when you draw a little something every day, you get to try so many things because if you don't like it, then you can just try something different tomorrow. So just like the first week, for this whole second week, I'm drawing activities from my creativity workbook for my daily illustrations, which makes it really easy and means that I don't have to think of new things to draw. The workbook has 10 activities to spark new drawing ideas and it's intended to be done over two weeks so it's perfect to help me get back into a daily drawing habit. So I'm now a full two weeks into posting something daily, which is halfway in this challenge. So let's take a quick look at my stats to see if anything's changed yet. You can definitely see that in general, I've had more reach since I started posting daily, just because there's something going out every day now. I've reached more accounts in the last 14 days of this challenge than I had in the 30 days before I started posting daily, and a higher percentage of them are non-followers, which suggests that my art is starting to be shown to new accounts, maybe on the explore page or on home pages. It's a bit early to see much impact on follower growth, but it does look like my daily followers are slowly trending upwards. So it's now day 15 of my 30 day challenge and I'm gonna take the day off illustrating, which means that I need to post something else instead. I've decided to share a set of nine posts from my profile that I like. I just went through and took a screenshot on my phone and I'm making a mini challenge out of it to encourage other artists to share some of their art that they really like as well. It's an easy way to repost art while also building some community. For day 16, I've decided to host a draw this in your style challenge because I quite liked this little mouse character and thought it would be cute for other people to draw as well. Plus it's been a really long time since I hosted one of these challenges. In general, for the second half of this 30 day challenge, I wanna focus on illustrations that are more likely to generate engagement to increase my chances of improving my reach. Drawing challenges are a really great way to get engagement and build community, whether you're hosting your own challenge or joining in on someone else's. If you're hosting a challenge, then people are more likely to comment, save and share that post because it's something that they can interact with and you'll be getting tagged and DM'd more as people participate. Even if you're joining in on someone else's challenge, you're quite likely going to get more engagement on your post just because other people are active in the challenge and looking at other entries. Aside from any engagement or growth metrics, I just think drawing challenges on Instagram are a really lovely way to connect with other artists 
day 17 and I have a lot of other work to do today but I've committed to at least an hour each day for this challenge so I'm just going to draw something really quick and simple for me to do. This week in general though I'm going to try and draw things that I think have a higher chance of performing well on Instagram and for my art style and my account that's usually either things that are bold and simple with a smiling face or cottages in a landscape. The cottages take quite a lot longer to draw, so I'm going to focus on the first option. I don't want to draw the same thing every day though, so I'll mix it up with some other things that I feel like drawing, like just cute characters in general. For me, as long as it's happy and wholesome and makes people feel good, then that's the main criteria. You can never know for sure what's going to perform well, but if you've noticed that certain compositions or subjects tend to perform better than others, then pay attention to that data if you're trying to grow on social media. When I post something bold and simple, it doesn't always perform well, but those posts definitely seem to be more likely to get higher engagement, perhaps because they stand out well when they're suggested to a new audience. Day 22 is a Saturday, so I'm going to take my weekly day off from illustrating for this challenge, but I still want to post something. So I'm going to repost some of my older art that I like. I chose something that I thought would fit in with the other art on my profile at the moment, and also that performed really quite well when it was first posted. I don't have any issue occasionally reposting art, I always mention it in the caption, and it's an easy way to give a second life to a piece that I like. For day 23, I just feel like drawing a simple composition of flowers and bees before starting the final week of the challenge. So I need 7 more posts and I have a lot of other work to do this week so it'll be a push to make it to the end but I am committed to making it work. I'll try another simple smiling face composition and this time I decided to experiment a bit with some different line work and patterns. I've been really enjoying spending some time each day illustrating just for fun like this. As my business has grown, I've had to spend more time on paid projects which is amazing of course, but it does make it hard to do these fun little drawings for Instagram. Dan gave me some flowers, so I thought it would be nice to draw them with some happy faces for an illustration. Some days I have an idea ready to go of what I want to draw, and some days I reference something around me like this. I needed to make a tutorial video this week for my Patreon about different drawing workflows and so I drew this bee as an example and I'm going to repurpose them for Instagram by drawing a flower around them as well. It's quite a bold illustration with this pinky purple so hopefully it'll stand out nicely and get some engagement. I would quite like to do at least one illustration with a person in it for this challenge, so I want to quickly share with you a really handy tool for creating references, which is today's sponsor, Just Sketch Me. If you're like me and find it hard to draw people without a reference, then Just Sketch Me is a great tool because it allows you to build a 3D model of a custom pose, and you can do it right from your browser without any 3D modeling experience. I can choose a pre-built pose from their library or make my own, build a little scene around it or add another character if I want to, and then I can screenshot or export my scene and use that image as a reference to sketch out my art. I like to use it for simple scenes with poses that I would find a bit tricky without a reference and find it super easy to use which gives me more time for drawing. Sign up to Just Sketch Me for free with no time limit. The first 100 people to use my code MIMIMU to sign up to Just Sketch Me Pro will get 20% off which will give you access to their amazing library of pre-built poses. Now let's get back to the challenge so I can post this new illustration. 
Drawings of scenes like this don't always perform as well on Instagram for me as the cute bold ones, but I still like making them here and there because it's good for my art practice and sometimes I want to mix it up a bit. I'm up to the last few days now and I'm just going to draw whatever seems cute, happy and easy to make as I'm starting to feel a little bit tired and don't have a huge amount of time available at the moment. I really liked the bumblebee in the flower that I drew a few days ago so I'm gonna kind of just replicate that with a ladybug because it was cute and easy. And it's finally day 30. It's a weekend and I'm getting ready to take some time off so instead of illustrating something new, I'm going to repost another illustration that I've already made. Just like the last illustration that I reposted, I chose one that performed really well on Instagram the first time around, but isn't too recent on my profile. And just like that, I've completed 30 days in a row of posting on Instagram, which is something that I haven't done in a very long time. Now I'm gonna go on a little holiday to Sweden for a couple of weeks to go hiking and enjoy some time outdoors in the sunshine. I'm not going to post at all while I'm away and I'll come back to Instagram in a few weeks and we can look over all of the data. So it's about seven weeks now since I started the challenge and I have a lot of data to show you. Let's quickly recap what I made so that we have a starting point for what my input was before understanding what I got out of it. I created 26 new illustrations, reposted two older illustrations, posted one promotion for a product and one screenshot of my profile. Each new illustration took between one and two and a half hours to create and then about half an hour to write a caption, post it and engage with the comments for a little bit. Let's average out each new illustration post to two hours to create and post and the other four posts are just half an hour to post them. That means that at a very rough estimate, I spent 54 hours over 30 days on this challenge, which is basically a part-time job. But did it increase my reach? Here are my insights for the 30 days of the challenge. I reached 141,000 accounts during the challenge, which is nearly three times as many as before the challenge. Interestingly and important for growing an audience, I reached mostly new accounts that weren't following me. In fact, it tells me that I reached 412% more accounts that weren't following me than I had in the previous 30 days. Most of my reach came from posts, which makes perfect sense. And if I look at my posts from the last 30 days, I can see that of course there are a lot more posts here, but my posts in general have more reach. Aside from the drawing challenge, the next five are really simple, happy illustrations. At the end of the challenge, I have 136,699 followers, which on average over those 30 days is about 96 per day. It takes a bit of time though to get the full results of what you post, so let's see where everything was at three weeks later, keeping in mind that I didn't post anything new during that time. So from the end of the challenge until the 1st of July, I reached 137,000 accounts, which is almost as many as during the challenge, except now 85% of those accounts were non-followers. Because so many of the accounts were new to me, I got over 5,000 followers in these three weeks, which is more than I got during the 30 days of the challenge. My daily followers slowly came down, but even at the end are still higher than they were before the challenge started. Interestingly, the very last illustration that I posted in the whole of the 30 days is the one that performed the best, and this post got pushed out on the explore page and on people's home pages. I had chosen this illustration to repost because it had performed so well the first time I posted it, and also in the caption I mentioned that I had been posting for 30 days and got quite a bit of engagement about that in the comments. 
My best theory is that my account was at a pretty good level of engagement by the time I shared my final post because I had been posting so much leading up to it. I shared something that I knew had performed well in the past, so it had a high chance of performing at least fairly well again, and it got an extra bit of engagement because people were interested in what I said in the caption. Most of my posts that got the highest reach and engagement from the 30 days were in the last two weeks of the challenge, after I hosted my drawing challenge, and also when I was being more intentional about what I was posting for engagement. It feels a bit like hosting the Draw This In Your Style challenge in the middle gave things a boost because that post had quite a lot of engagement as people save it and share it more than normal posts, but also my whole account would have been getting more engagement in general because people are tagging me more and sending me more messages and that's probably a really positive thing for my account from Instagram's perspective. So from an engagement and reach point of view, things were slow for the first two weeks, got a big boost when I hosted a challenge had a couple of spikes when I was posting more intentionally, and then finished off with a post that lots of people were interested in, which meant that Instagram showed it off to a lot more non-followers, which actually kept my reach quite high for a little while after the challenge. So yes, as we probably could have predicted, posting every single day for 30 days after posting once a week did increase my reach on Instagram. But the important second part of the question was, will it be worth all of the extra illustrating that I have to do? I think that short term, yes, but long term, it's not sustainable. Any challenge in the short term can be fun if you're clear on why you want to do it. And this challenge was fun for me to get back into drawing every day. And I loved prioritizing making whatever art I wanted. But I don't think it's sustainable for me or for most people to spend a couple of hours illustrating just for social media every day. For a short term challenge, if you want to focus on developing your art or really growing your audience for your business, then yeah, maybe it's worth giving it a go. But long term, it's probably healthier to have a bit more time off and a bit more balance. I spend over 50 hours in a month making content for Instagram to grow my account, so it's a big commitment and I think you need to be doing it for at least some reasons other than just social media growth. A more sustainable middle ground for me at least is illustrating a few times a week where I get to have a regular art habit but don't have to spend quite so much time on social media. I know that it's been quite disheartening to be on Instagram lately. I hope this experiment of mine has given you some insight and information that might help your account grow if that's something you're wanting to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already for more art videos. See you in the next one. Bye bye.